In other news, new developments this evening into the disappearance of 49-year-old Elkino Miller after the emergence of concerning voice notes over the weekend. Cleopatra Murphy has this investigative story. I pull up there, the nigga say, girl, next door to get the 130, you know. All along, he walk inside, take picture of my, watch this. Turn, walk past it, look at the license plate again, walk inside, sit in the chair, flip the phone up, try to take picture of me again, you know. Sources have confirmed that was the concerned voice of 49-year-old Elkino Miller, worried he was being watched. It was one of two voice notes with Miller and a person identified as Rat, alluding to a double cross regarding drugs, an incident Rat was adamant he was not involved in. Rat says he attempted to make it clear to someone he calls the boss, who shared Gubba said he handed the items to World Boss and was unaware of what he did with them. The two names mentioned, Gubba and World's Boss, happened to be the aliases of two men, Jermaine Alexander Duncan and DiCarlo Roll, who police released wanted posters for related to conspiracy to import and export dangerous drugs Sunday. The voice notes also come after the body of a man burnt beyond recognition and a vehicle burnt to the ground were discovered near a canal near the Jack Haywood Bridge early Thursday morning. Miller's family were at the scene crying and emotional, although there was no confirmation he was the deceased. If that death is connected to the voice notes, though, Rat is insistent he's ready to die, and the truth will be revealed. Miller, too, was adamant he knew nothing about the drug transaction. Selenus News reached out to ACP Shanta Knowles, who says she could not speak to the voice notes, but offers this update on Thursday's disturbing discovery. Last week I said that we will certainly reach out to family members of who we suspect it may be or persons who were missing in Grand Bahama recently. And we've certainly done that. And we hope that through doing that, we would be able to get positive DNA to tell us who this person is. But at this time, it's an unknown person, human remains found. For the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition, I'm Cleopatra Murphy.